Okay. Um, as a sensei, do you use anything that you learned from English class when you were in school? Yes. Uh, you learn how to uh, explain things better and to, uh, to use proper English to get your point across to individuals so that they can understand you much better. And as operating a business, running a dojo, I'm constantly corresponding and writing to people and so forth. So uh, that also is a big help. Mm -hmm. um, do you use verbal communication in your line of work? If so, how is it used in karate and how often is it used? Uh, my line of work is almost 100% verbal communication. Uh, verbally explaining to an individual how a karate technique is done. Uh, trying to put it into terms that they will understand and will be able to apply it. Uh, and uh, uh, to just get the point across, not only about techniques, but about the ideology of karate and the philosophy also. Do you think the English language and the writing process is important in your job? Why why not? Oh, absolutely. As I said, uh, the business aspect of karate, uh, I spend a great deal of time writing to people. Uh, I have customers uh, contacting me all the time, and uh, I will send them letters explaining what we do and so forth. So it's very important uh, from the business aspect uh, of gaining new customers and then uh, of keeping my customers interested while they're here and while they're learning techniques from me and so forth. So both the verbal aspect of the emotion and the written communication aspect of it is, is very, very important to not only my business, but I think probably every business. Do you want to add anything else? Uh, only what it is that you would like to hear. I, th I think that uh, uh, particularly youngsters your age who are in school should spend a lot more emphasis or a lot more time uh, learning about correct English and how to communicate and how to spell, how to do, uh, uh, form a letter correctly, and how to uh, organize your thoughts so that you can get your process across uh, better to your students so that they can understand. Uh, or to your customers, or uh, uh, regardless of what your line of work is going to be, it's going to require both written communication and verbal communication to be successful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is all I have. down. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for interviewing me. You're welcome. Do you thank him for his time? Well, thank you for your time. And you're very welcome.